Hi folks and welcome back to The Restaurant Show. We are very happy and pleased as always to have our friend Robert Grether from Dash Alito's Hot Sauces and Spicy Foods here with us today. Rob, how are you? I'm doing great. Great awesome. to be here. Awesome. What are we making today? I'm sure it's going to be some wild concoction that's going to end up spicy, am I right? Well, we are going to make um, something maybe a little different, I don't know. Um, we're going to try and make a, um, an orange marmalade or a um, green fire la range, which oh is Oh my, are you pseudo, speaking French now? Pseudo French. <laughs> pseudo uh, French, all right. Um, but it's Man a, of many talents over here, pseudo French. So yes, ma'am. Um, it is, um, it's gonna be a green fire spiced orange marmalade type wing sauce slash dipping sauce, maybe slash spread that you can use for, for different things. Great, um, great. Part of the reason why we're doing this is because um, uh, Dash Lito's just got put on the menu at Dexter's Pub over Dexter's over on uh, North Street uh, in Madison Congratulations. Here. So they were kind enough to take our uh, sweet heat, our Caribbean curry and our red uh, honey and incorporate them onto the menu and some wing sauces. So we're, um, we're gonna make a wing sauce that's a little different than what they're doing, but we're really excited and happy that, um, that they're working with us. Fantastic. Well, if any of you out there enjoy Dexter's or those of you that work at Dexter's or are affiliated with Dexter's, <laughs> you just got a nice shout out from Rob. So anyways, we'll have to get in there and try those wings. So yeah. let's get started. What do we have here to make the wing sauce? So we've got um, some orange marmalade. Um, and you can see there's some other things on the table here. You can go about, two, you can kind of do the same thing, but in two different directions. We're gonna go the simple route. Um, Simple's good. We're gonna take some orange marmalade. We're gonna put it into a bowl. Um, you know, I like the marmalade because it's a little thicker. It's actually got some pieces of orange. Um, mm -hmm. And that's that, kind of what makes it the marmalade, right? Is that, that orange zest that's yep, in there, the peel? Yep, it's see. got, I guess, mm -hmm. the peel or some, some little pieces of it. Yep. Um, you know, the other way that we could really um, go a little bit more homemade is we could have taken orange juice oh. and um, some uh, honey. Okay. And a little kind of make of, your own marmalade. A little you, bit of yeah, if you it, will. The same yes. Kind of thing. You can make it into an even thinner sauce. Okay. You know, this is going to be a little thicker. So that might be um, could considered more like a glaze or something if it's a little thinner, maybe. Or? Well, yeah. And what 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 we're going to do first, and this is a really simple thing, which obviously just requires orange marmalade and some green fire. But you can mix the two, and you know, a lot of times people will take ham. And you know, with the holidays coming, they'll take a ham and they'll put orange marmalade and a couple things and spread it on a ham and then bake the ham. Mm -hmm. Then it gets um, right in the meat. Yep, that's a traditional way, it, it's I It's kind think. of a little, got an orange marmalade crust to it, um, a sweet kind of flavor to it. So always leaving it up to Rob to find a new spin on traditional ways to do Orange marmalade glazed <laughs> ham. What did we do in the past? Deviled eggs. So, so new yeah, so, ways to so, do good stuff from the past. So this is an easy thing. You can do the same thing you would have done. You could um, put this on your ham and then bake it right in, bake it, up, or even a ham sandwich. Now, what would you say here would be the level of spiciness that you're coming up with right here? Because not everyone is familiar I'm as much as as like. you might be with the levels at Dash Alito's here. So this one would be like a medium, you'd say? Or? Yeah, well, the, the green fire, you know, you can always choose your, your sauce. The green fire is, mm -hmm. you know, one of the, the lesser spicy sauces. Jalapeno, um, these spicy. are habanero, That's habanero. You know, yeah, it's got kind of a smokiness. <laughs> I think it's got a little kick to it. Um, There's spice in the back end, for sure. If you like spicy, or not even very spicy, but just a little kick so, with your meats, this is a good choice for to home make a sauce. Now you can take some soy sauce and you can add that right into now it. Now that seems to be something that you use quite often when you throw things together to a you know, new... it's easy. It's so, easy. Soy sauce is easy and it adds a little salt to it and a little, a little, little more garlic. developed flavor maybe. Same with the garlic, okay. Yeah, you know, I like the sweet and salty. Or sweet, sweet and, and salty. <laughs> you just made up a word. Sweet and salty. Salty, Excuse okay, me. coming from the hot sauce maker. Salty, so, this is a new word for everyone's vocabulary out there. This Foodies, is now... pay attention. <laughs> salty. <laughs> so this is pretty thin. You know, you can add a little bit of honey to make it stick a little bit more. Um, and that's going to make it stick when you actually glaze the meat or toss yep. it in with the meat. It's going to coat it in a better way with the honey. Is that right? That's correct. It'll stick a little more with the stickiness of the honey, as we all know. So this is um, a pretty thin, you know, not a thin sauce, but a, a, a sauce. So you can use it like you would with some chicken. Um, you can use it as you roll things into it. Um, we do have some chicken here today if you wanted to see, you know, kind of how that rolls through it. Um, 
I oh, guess we can put it back on that yeah, plate. Yeah, sure. Sorry. Um, and, you know, what do you I'm, have here on uh, this plate? There's something special. Do you want to talk about that shortly? I was say, so, so here's what the chicken looks like. So that looks great. Nice little kind of you know look to it. Um, and this is a boneless wing, but you can do this on regular traditional hot wings. Toss it in with them, and you're going to have uh, different layers of flavor rather than just a plain old chicken wing. So that's kind of fun. I'm sorry. Go ahead about yes, the other sauce. Um, no, so yeah, so everything you just said about the sauce is... Um, is, is correct. And I'm going to try that in just um, a second. I just want to hear about this quickly. I also brought some mustard because you can also add mustard to this, which oh. is a whole other dynamic to it. Um, you really have to test that one out for yourself because not everybody's going to be down with that. Um, this is a pretty simple one. Get down with the mustard. <laughs> not everybody's down with it. Um, <laughs> So you know, this it's nice that you offer us options out here on the well, table. Well, you know, it's you just know. ideas. I mean, yeah, I'm, it's I'm ideas. not I'm not, exactly. I'm not even giving you specifics kind of situation. about how to do it. Like I said, any of these hot sauces can work. Um, you know, de depending on the level of spice, the sweet heat's probably a little too sweet. I wouldn't probably mess with that. In for the, a the glaze, you're for the talking. Marmalade. Okay, for the you know, marmalade. The marmalade. Okay, too sweet. Might you don't want too sweet. You know, yeah. not too much sweet um, in your food ever. That's just. Uh, so yeah. yeah. Um, so what I did, and, and I just want to throw this out real quick. We have a. Um, an onion that my uncle, my uncle Brian, is is working with Dashalitos now. Um, he's uh, a, a great creative food uh, entrepreneur and um, oh. chef. It's in the um, family, huh? So that's where some of the funky unky stuff comes from. My kids call him Funky Unky. Um, so he has a salsa. Gonna brand that, huh? Funky Unky like is gonna be a this branded thing. We're gonna hear he's about sauteed soon. Sauteed <laughs> with sweet heat. And it makes a great spread, makes a great kind of dip, um, and it's just a, a great uh, other idea for, okay. for people to Okay, so we've uh, got onions, uh, sweetness, and here we have chicken with a orange marmalade, green fire, soy sauce, garlic glaze. And I'm gonna try that quickly in the few seconds that we have left. Here we go. Perfect. And that's all the time we have today. Sweet and spicy. <laughs> Go ahead, take it away, Rob. Thank you for thank you for having me. Thank you for joining us on the restaurant show. Please come back and see us again soon.